Hi folks, Rich here, yeah, just holding my uh, uh, phone camera on the tripod in my hand. It's got a bit chaotic in this room. Can you see here? This is a Blackstar ID Core TVP. I've had one before, do you remember it? So you've got all the usual Blackstar kind of stuff, the clean, warm and bright, and all of these sound good. Then volume, sorry, gain and volume, bass, treble, no mids, but you have the ISF. And this one, you can choose to use the valve simulators. Remember the silver line I had recently had this on it. Now, one of the differences between this and the silver lines, on the silver line, this is permanently engaged. Oh, where is it? I think it is. Um, you can turn it off on here. And then you've got four different types of delay, uh, four different types of reverb, and four different modulations. You've got four banks here, four presets. And when you press the bank here, it's a green, that, that's four. You've got another four, so you've got 12 in total. And it's come with a foot switch, exactly the same ones I had before, the FS10. I've just picked this up for £100. Now, you might ask why I'm doing that when I've got this Harley Benton here. Well, I wanted to get some presets put back in. I actually, dare I say it, I missed the silver line a little bit for that very reason. So I can just have some presets that I can put together and make a bit of a noise with some clean ones, some dirty ones, different ones. And then I can still use my pedal board. And let's have a look down at pedal board for everything else. At the moment, I have got, you know, some little pointy finger. I've got the Joyo Vintage Overdrive, the Joyo Tachi or Tai Chi, which is another overdrive, and the Dark Flame, which is a metal -y pedal. See it out there going into the front of the Harley Benton tube amp. And then, uh, sorry, in, also the wire pedal. Then I've got my modulation, digital delay, and this new reverb pedal and my looper going through the loop, uh, effects loop in my Harley Benton because they sound a lot better through that. So I'm kind of giving myself a choice here of using the Harley Benton with all the pedals or using my boop, my foot switch and the, excuse my sniff, and the Black Star to have some preset tones that are just in there that I can just recall as I want to. Because one of the things with the Harley Benton, there are the guitar set behind me. I'll just got the tripod up for a second. One of the things with the Harley Benton that I've noticed is at lower volumes, it's harder to maintain your distorted tones through the pedals. Whereas on the Black Star, it's got the two volumes on there. I can put different presets in there and I can have, not like playing metal, but no, I can, I can have a, a high overdriven tones going through that Black Star without the volume being up. I can't do that on the Harley Benton. Uh, obviously, I've still got my little Marshall, which uh, Sarah bought me a long time ago and I would never sell for that reason. And actually, that's worked well with the pedals, surprisingly well. Uh, these are all 15 watts, so I'm going to do a little video at some point uh, on the differences on them. The Marshall's got, an, I think the Marshall's an 8-inch speaker, the Black Star is a 10, and the Harley Benton's a 12, and they're all 15 watts in different ways. The true valve power, so the simulator in the Black Star, the actual valves in the Harley Benton, and of course the solid state for the, for the little Marshall. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick where we're at with things.